The postpartum period is a time of joy and adjustment as new mums navigate the challenges and rewards of motherhood. Along with the physical and emotional changes, many women may also face dietary considerations, especially if they have gluten sensitivities or celiac disease. In this episode, I'm joined by a very special guest to explore the topic of gluten-free diets in the postpartum period. We'll address common questions and provide valuable insights to help you make informed decisions about your nutritional choices. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Nourish. My name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a dietitian who specialises in pre and postnatal nutrition. My goal is to help give your baby the best possible start in life whilst also supporting your nutritional needs during and after pregnancy. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up to date with the latest videos where I share evidence-based tips for optimising nutrition during this exciting period. Today, we're discussing gluten-free diets for postpartum. And I am very honored to be joined by special guest and dietitian specializing in gluten-free diets, Sally Marchini. Sally is an absolute guru on this topic after having first-hand experience with celiac disease and gluten-free diets. Welcome, Sally. Well, let's dive in. Welcome, Sally. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> so first of all, who should be following a gluten-free diet when postpartum? Because can just any mama follow a gluten-free diet then? Well, it really depends on the mama. Some mamas like to follow a gluten-free diet and there may be various reasons for that. The only people who really have to are people with celiac disease. Mm -hmm. But saying that if they're on a low FODMAP diet and, and although FODMAPs and gluten are different things, mm -hmm. they think they're following a gluten-free diet when they're actually not needing to. Mm -hmm. So they might overdo it. But there's no nutritional benefit unless you need to following a gluten-free diet postpartum. Okay, so what about uh, the impact on babies? Um, is there any research about uh, other benefits or risks to following a gluten-free diet if you're breastfeeding for, to the baby? Uh, so far there is no research that I know of. Mm -hmm. If anybody indicate. would know, you would know. <laughs> well, there's, there's none that I know of mm -hmm. that actually says whether eating gluten while you're pregnant will change anything with the baby mm -hmm. uh, unless it's again FODMAP related so it's the fructans rather than the gluten mm -hmm. that potentially might you know might cause the baby to have more wind if they're tolerant intolerant as well but there's no actual evidence about it right. and um, it's interesting though when you look at when the baby has been born then there's um, some papers that talk about, there was one in 2020 that said that babies from the age of four months that were eating two wheat biscuits a week mm -hmm. after three years had fewer cases of celiac disease right. than those who waited to six months before introducing wheat. So suggesting that it's actually beneficial to have that gluten earlier on? Yeah, in small quantities. Right. And there was another paper that suggested that from the age of one to two, if they just had um, a couple of slices of wheat bread or equivalent mm -hmm. a week, a day, mm -hmm. sorry, then those babies, those children would have um, potentially lower risks later, but the, there's still so much more research mm. needed. Mm. It's, you know, it, you, yeah, it's tough. It's an area that's really lacking in research, isn't it? Um, yeah. It is, but the problem is that I think most people don't realise that a, a gluten-free diet is not healthier than a wheat-containing diet. Mm. There are so many nutrients missing in a gluten-free diet, and whether that's because we're just looking at um, breads and cereals, for example, mm -hmm. where the breads are mostly made from starches, which have no nutritional benefit. Right. Whereas wheat is a grain mm -hmm. that has a lot of nutritional benefit. Right. And the wheat 
breads are all fortified, whereas not all the gluten-free breads are fortified. But even if the gluten-free breads, breads are fortified, they're still not giving you the right levels of the nutrients that you would get from having a whole grain. Right. So in terms of then first thousand days and impact on bubs, particularly if they're being breastfed, as a dietitian who knows the research and has had experience with so many clients, mm. do you have any concerns then about babies who are breastfed on a gluten-free diet? Like, as you said, obviously for some women they have no choice, but are there things that you, maybe nutrients that you particularly look for? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Right. So things like iodine and iron mm -hmm. and... Um, and even, I mean, fibre, but if, if you're looking at just added fibre, that's not the same as fibre that's naturally occurring in foods. Mm. And there has been talk about maybe we need to have a different set of guidelines for people following, like dietary guidelines for mm -hmm. people following a gluten-free diet. So maybe they need to include more like legumes and nuts mm. to get the nutrients they might be missing from the grain section that we normally focus on. Right, so I mean, postpartum plus breastfeeding like it's an incredibly stressful time yeah. being a particularly new mum or even if you're even if it's not your first if it's your second or your third or your fourth like just another child in the family incredibly busy and stressful time yeah. um, and then to add this layer of complexity have you got some kind of quick and easy tips that you would recommend to to mamas who are following a gluten-free diet? Yes, just add a serve of legumes every day to your diet. Okay. And that can be done in so many easy ways. You can have it on its own with some dressing on it. You can put it into omelettes. You can put it into soups, stews. You can put it into anything. Legumes are really, really versatile and they will give you a lot of nutrients that you're missing if you're on a gluten-free diet. Mm, very interesting. And of course, go and see somebody who's an expert like yourself mm. to get that personalised advice. Absolutely, because mm. everybody has different needs. Mm, amazing. Well, thank you so much. We will put all of your contact details in the description box below this video. And uh, yeah, highly recommend if you're following a gluten-free diet that you do contact Sally for that personalised advice. Remember, every woman's postpartum experience is unique and it's important to listen to your body and seek professional support when making dietary decisions. For more personalised advice on gluten-free diets during postpartum, be sure to check out Sally's details in the description box below this video. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I think I've used the same, it's the same intro again. So can we just cut that from... I oh know it isn't as big different. Mm -hmm. um.